Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just want to read Psalm 32 and 33 to to you this morning. And uh, the Lord had put something on my heart yesterday. And uh, I want to talk about that a little bit too. I pray your day is blessed. And I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and all who's watching. The joy of forgiveness, Psalm 32. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute in iniquity, in whose spirit there is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones grew old, through my groaning all the day long, for day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My vitality was turned into the drought of summer. I acknowledged my sin to you. In my iniquity, I have not hidden. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. For this cause, everyone who is godly shall pray to you in a time when you may be found. Surely in a flood of great waters, they shall not come near him. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Do not be like the horse or like the mule, which has no understanding, which must be harnessed with bit and bridle, else they will not come near you. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, mercy shall surround him. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. That's very comforting. To know that we can trust in the Lord. To know that we are protected by Him and surrounded by His holy angels. Psalm 91.11 says God ordains His angels over us. And they are higher than us. And they do protect us from harm. Psalm 33. The sovereignty of the Lord in creation and history. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, for praise from the upright is beautiful. Praise the Lord with the harp. Make melody to him with an instrument of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully with a shout of joy, for the word of the Lord is right, and all his work is done in truth. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea together as a heap. He lays up the deep in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He makes the plans of the people to no effect. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The people he has chosen as his own inheritance. The Lord looks from heaven. He sees all the sons of men. From the place of his dwelling he looks on all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashions their hearts individually. He considers all their works. No king is saved by the multitude of an army. A mighty man is not delivered by great strength. A horse is a vain hope for safety. Neither shall it deliver any by its great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in him, because we have trusted in his holy name. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, just as we hope in you. I also want to read Psalm 139, verse 5. You have hedged me behind and before, and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. The Lord wanted to speak me to speak to you about his protection over us, about his sovereignty and how his word does not change. God speaks a word and it goes out and 
does not come back void. The Lord was putting upon my heart yesterday as I was praying in my prayer closet that we have to trust in him. We have to trust in his sovereignty. We have to put our faith in him. And as you can tell, conservative Christians, Christians in general are being persecuted and it will grow more difficult and things will get harder. I've given a lot of warnings over the past. And when I first, uh, my first season of prophetic warnings was my first channel and it got locked out, but I, um, I spoke everything that the Holy Spirit had shown me in vision and word. And, um, yesterday I had a brief vision of a dark cloak coming over the earth and, and, that's exactly how I would describe it, a dark cloak. Um, and it went, you know, left to right in the sky like a cloak of darkness. But I know that God loves each and every one of us. We are formed in his image. And we are sons and daughters of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And he loves us and he will protect us. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, to stand firm in your faith and to be strong. I know we're weary and we are waiting for our blessed hope, which is Jesus Christ. Um, but I just wanted to pray for you today and, and bless you. And I, I pray that Jesus just wrap his loving arms around you and give you peace and the Holy Spirit breathe his life inside of you. And whatever is weary inside of you, that that breath of life that God breathed into you that that would be a restorative breath to restore you body, mind, soul, and spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. And by the blood of the Lamb and the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. God bless you. I love you in Christ. Amen.